Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. My name is Didi, to be or not to be, today a very short PA video on Bitcoin, powerful because I have two charts at the end that you really need to see. One of them is showing us a signal that we don't see often, but every time when we see the signal, something special happens to Bitcoin. Watch the video to the end. Let's jump into the first chart. Bam! might you wonder yes i'm coming from my daughter's bedroom jessa's bedroom because downstairs there's a lot of noise outside they are doing crazy sounds with all kinds of stuff in the garden so i can't use it now quickly jump in here this is the four hour chart this is on the aurox platform if you want to sign up to aurox use the links down below it's free and the platform is easy to use um let's put this one right there okay guys let's see what do we see on the charts today of course, we see the bam bam indicator, uh, which is telling us when to long and to short, or to buy or to sell. It gave us that short over there, and it's giving us a long again over here. That was this morning somewhere, I think around 12. Um, that long at the moment is breaking out of that line. You can see the downward trend line, and like every time the short hits that line. Now we are breaking out, probably retesting it, and then we should take it up from there. That is really positive, guys. Cool chart. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, which is very important, is that the day chart is at the moment very important. I told you guys already yesterday and the days before and the weeks before, the RSI is slowly moving up. The price is falling down. Bullish divergence leads mostly to explosive growth. Now, that is what happened because there was a daily candle, very important over here, Closing almost down below the 200 day moving average. It closed down below, not almost, it closed down below. And we have now this green pumping candle that wants to close above the 200 daily moving average, which is very important. In my opinion, we need to stay above that level. And it found resistance at that green line over there. That is the line that we have found resistance many times before. Look, if you look back to the left, you can see why that line is on the charts. Look, when we broke it, we came above the second green line, we fell, we found support, we tried to break it again, we found support, we bounced off that green line, here again, finding support on the green line, here again, finding support, then breaking it, then fighting that green line over here again, coming above. You see, this green line is important. And that is why it's on my chart. And that is the green line that I want to see broken. I'm very happy. We are now above the 200 day moving average. I'm very happy to see here in the bottom, I hope you see it, the RSI even going up steeply, just like it was doing over there, trying to go up steeply. So now let's break that green line around 48,400 and then take it up to that red line, uh, the next green line over there, the 53K. That is, of course, the perfect way of how should it could go, but again, we can also find resistance and fall down to the 200 again. That's now at 47. Now, in the weekly, it's giving you a, a more zoomed out perspective. Also there, the 50 weekly moving average, this line, um, is very important. And that line is the, exactly again the line that we are finding support with the weekly candle. We wicked down below it, but the candle closed above that line. I will close the MA ribbon. Um, EMA ribbon so you can see it you see and now this week is again finding support we need to keep the support over here the candle is going to close in five days I believe we will keep support and go up a little bit more maybe even close this candle green and that would be then a green candle with a huge downward wick which means reversal of the market that is what I hope to see guys um, now, it, the MA is telling us um, the same, where is it again, over here, here it's telling us the same, you see, we're finding support on these levels, we, we dropped in the previous drop till the bottom line of the EMA ribbon, and we are still on the like third or fourth from the top, really interesting, is the indicator telling us something here as well, I can show you, uh, we are still on that short, 
We went long over there in July. We went strong over, short over there in November. Um, this will need to slowly become supportish area and then that will turn into green again for a new long on the weekly time frame. RSI in the bottom, still moving upwards, curling up again, really positive. Now, this chart over here is the signal. This chart is a very important chart because this is the Bitcoin NVT signal. I found this one on Woobull.com. Why is this important? Because every time when this blue line on the bottom comes down below that area that you see, that purplish area, that is the moment Bitcoin is oversold. And every time that we are oversold big time like that, afterwards is a huge move. You might say, no, this one, no, did he? But yes, this one did. We dumped. And then we moved up with a few K up again. And that was because we were oversold. And every time we can see that oversold actions on the chart, the Bitcoin price is going up. Look here, we were oversold. The Bitcoin price was there. We went bam, all the way up to that 60K. Here, we were oversold. The Bitcoin price was at 28K. Bam, we went all the way again back to that 60K. Now, again, oversold. And that is what you can see a little bit more clear as Willy Wu uh, created this beautiful bam image for it. And maybe that is more clear than the chart now that, that I showed. Um, on this chart, you can see um, what is happening, guys. You can see what I just told. Every time when these green areas are there, you can see that we were oversold on the bottom. Oh, I need to make it like this. There. You can see we come down below that pinkish area, purplish pinkish area. Oversold reversal of the market you can see this every time go up go up go up oversold go up have and have heavily oversold huge run guys huge run this 20k all the way up back to 60k here again big time oversold we are starting to see this green area again i believe that this oversold area will turn back into a bullish area and um, bam over here we have also some special chart on this chart you can see um, the bitcoin drawdowns how long have they been the drawdowns and you can see the difference between the first halving second half and the third halving in the colors so we are going to focus now on the third halving the orange ones so you can see all these orange ones were small drawdowns this one is like 18 percent here we had a few of five six percent you see, and you can see the amount of days. So, so for example, this huge drawdown in February lasted 18 days, 10 days to 30 days. In the middle is around 18 days, and it was a 25% drawdown. Now, in January, we had a drawdown that bottomed 30%, so that was a bigger drawdown, and it lasted for 30 days. So March, here the drawdown, lasted also 30 days, but bottom out at around 18%. So you can see that where we are now, here, a drawdown of 40%. It's already lasting now 32, 33 days. So you can see how far we are in these drawdowns, where we are. And you can also see that after these drawdowns, every time we pulled up the price again. So this was the last really big drawdown. This was the 60% drawdown of uh, April. Um, yes, and we stayed in that over 100 days, guys. So really cool chart. Um, then I have one more amazing funny chart, I think. Uh, funny, but also, yeah, realistically, maybe true wish chart over here. I don't know how to say it different, but it's maybe just to um, have you understand how you can think about Bitcoin as well. And again, I'm not saying the numbers are perfect, but just check it. I found it on Twitter, by the way, I think on this one here, on the bottom, you can see Satonomics. The Greg Foss flow chart, they call it. Let's see. The total global assets is 900 trillion US dollars. That is a lot. 900 trillion. Now, let's say Bitcoin gets 5% of that total global assets. That would be 45 trillion US dollars. If you would divide that by 21 million Bitcoins, you will get a value per Bitcoin of 2,142,857. So that's 2.1 million per Bitcoin. And now all the people will say, ah, you're crazy, that's unbelievable. I think 5% is definitely a possibility for Bitcoin. I think we can get 
5% of the global assets into Bitcoin, which would be a market cap of 45 trillion. And 21 million, that is not like something you can doubt about. So yes, divided them would get you this price. So the expected value of Bitcoin now would be if you take those 2.1 million, that price, and multiply it by 10%, because we only have 10% bulls now that believe this, and then sum up uh, the zero price times 90%, which of course is also zero, uh, by the bears, you would get a price of 200,000, 210,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Calculated that there's only 10% that believes this model. So then the question becomes, is Bitcoin under 210,000 US dollar? If the answer is yes, you should buy Bitcoin, more Bitcoin. If the answer is no, then the probability that one Bitcoin will be 2.1 million is bigger than 10%. So you need to update your model and decide, yeah, of course, to buy Bitcoin. Really funny, but really nice um, educational stuff over there. Guys, that was everything for this short TA video. I hope you really enjoyed it from my beautiful daughter's bedroom. And um, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and always remember to be to be, and always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin. Try to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day. And that is exactly what life should be about, to be or not to be. Thanks for watching, and comment down below what you thought about these charts. Thank you, and see you tomorrow again, guys. Bam!